Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the keyboard shortcuts that I know for Windows 8. And these are awesome. If you have Windows 8, these will definitely come in handy. And they will reduce the amount of time you spent on doing basically everything. They'll like cut in half. Like these shortcut keys are a must know if you have Windows 8. And so just to start off, we're going to start off with the actual Windows key. Um, some keyboards, most keyboards have two Windows keys. And I have the webcam on just to show you guys that it does happen basically as soon as you press the keys. And so the Windows key is just used to switch back and forth between whatever app you have open or your desktop and modern UI. So that's how that works. Next, we have the charms bar. If you press the window key and C, the charms bar pops up. And over here, you can access search, share, start devices or settings. Windows key tab opens up your taskbar. And if you just press it really quick, it goes to whatever was open. Go back. Now, if you press it and hold it, it will show it up. And you can tab through whatever you have here. But if you just let go, it goes back to whatever you select. Windows key I brings up your settings here on the right. Windows key H brings up your share settings. We can't share anything right now. Windows key K brings up your devices. For example, it shows that I have a second screen. If I go to Windows key Q, it'll bring up a search for your apps. This is nice if you just want to go to your app selection. It has all your apps right in front of you. Or if you want to search apps on the right-hand column. If you go Windows F, you can search all of your files on your computer. If you go Windows key W, you can search your settings on your computer. All these are very handy. If you memorize these, it's going to cut your time down like immensely because you're not going to be searching through your documents and all kinds of stuff for the files. Press these shortcut keys and you're right in the search. If I go to the desktop and I press Windows key X, we get our kind of our power user information, control panel, a command prompt, some of that stuff. You can also get to that by mousing over to the bottom right hand corner and right clicking as soon as your start button comes up. But the shortcut for that is Windows key X and that works anywhere as well. So if we go back to the desktop, now Windows key plus the period will take whatever you have docked and it will move it to the right. So for example, I have Tweetro. We'll go back. This is Tweetro and I have it docked on the right. If I hold the Windows key in the period, it's going to move it out. Press it again. It's going to move it to the right. Press it again. It's going to make it the center and it's just going to have a little bit of the desktop on the side. Press it again. It's all Tweetro. Back again. Tweetro is on the side again. You can also do the reverse. If you press Windows key, Shift period moves everything to the left and you can move all your stuff to the left. Very nice, very handy. If you press Windows Windows key and V, it's going to bring up your notifications. I don't have any notifications right now. Uh, there's a couple other shortcut commands that you can use to cycle through notifications. I'll mention them, but I won't be able to use them since I don't have any notifications right now. Windows key print screen. If I print screens up here, so if I press Windows key print screen, you see the screen dim just for a little quick minute. If I go to pictures, before you had to kind of make it your own file and like paint or something. Now it saves it automatically to the screenshots folder, which is very nice. Windows key enter launches narrator. I'm not going to launch narrator because you'll start talking to me and it takes a while for him to close. But just know that Windows key enter launches narrator, which you can be used to read certain things to your, um, from your computer to you without you having to read it. Maybe if you're sight impaired, you can use um, Windows key and enter to bring up the narrator. Windows key E brings up your computer uh, without having to go to a my computer shortcut uh, you can just type in that shortcut key and it'll bring up your computer if you type in windows key r it's going to bring up the run run prompt if you press windows key u always scan this section see it's going to bring up ease of access center narrator is trying to talk to me right there that brings up your ease of access center if you press windows key plus the pause break key which is just off camera right there up here in the corner you can't see it because my keyboard will fall off um, if you press that it'll bring up system information what, what you're running um, your score your rating and some processor information just some information about your computer and now this is really pretty cool here if you press the windows key and press whatever numbers here on your numbers that correspond with the icons right here so the first um, 10 that you have we can actually be launched through a keyboard shortcut. So if I want to want launch the Explorer, Windows key one launches the Explorer. Windows key three should launch Firefox. I launch Firefox. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I want to launch Premiere, 
Windows key and seven. That's gonna launch Premiere. So that's nice. Uh, I tried it with the side keys for the side number pad. It didn't work. I tried it with NumLock, still didn't work, and NumLock off. Uh, but it does work with the top row of numbers. You can also launch new instances of those programs by holding in. Um, so if, I'll just show you for example, I'm gonna bring up Firefox. I can launch a new window of Firefox by pressing Windows key, Shift, and three opens up a new window or a new instance of the program. Windows B uh, help is a notification key or a notification shortcut. It selects the first item in the notification area and then you can use your arrow key to cycle through the actual notifications. Windows key control B opens up. If you have a notification that pops up in your top right hand screen, if you press Windows key control B really quick, it will open up the program that the notification is from. Windows key T is actually for cycling through your taskbar. If you watch on the bottom, these will each get lit up as I press the T button. T, 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 T. And if you just press it, it will show up a little bit of a preview as of what's actually running in that window. Windows key M minimizes all your windows. And then Windows key shift M brings them all back up. And you can also minimize or show your desktop or hide your desktop by pressing Windows key D. If you press it again, it will bring up all your um, windows back. You couldn't really see anything because I didn't have anything open in this window, so I'll open this. If I press Windows key D, bring it back up, do it with Windows key M, minimize stuff, Windows key Shift M, bring stuff back up. So if we want to open up Explorer, Windows key up will maximize this window, and it will not maximize it over Tweetro. This is running uh, the separate, uh, you can do multitasking, it will not cover up whatever you have running over here. So we can do Windows key down to minimize it, Windows key down again to bring it down into your taskbar. So if we bring Explore back up. If we press Windows key left, it's going to um, put it on the left hand. It's going to lock to the left hand side of the screen. Windows key right is going to right, put it back to the right. If you press to the left when you're on the right, it'll bring it to the center. So you can just dock it wherever you like. And Windows key F1 is just going to launch your Windows help and support. And last but not least, Windows key L, like other versions of Windows, it takes you to your lock screen. So we'll try that. And it's not going to let me show you guys lock screen because it locks and exits bandit cam, which I'm using to record my screen. But Windows key L does lock your actual um, screen in your desktop. And so those are all of the keyboard shortcuts I have for you guys for Windows 8. If you guys have any more, feel free to post them in the comments below. If you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And share this with anybody you know that has Windows 8 because these are very helpful and they will cut your time that you spend searching on your computer in half. They're very nice. I really enjoy them and I suggest you uh, use them and memorize them whenever you're using Windows 8. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you share it with your friends like I said. Also don't forget to stay subscribed for more tech and game related videos. And so thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.